In late 1705, Valentine decided to extend his trading activities to include soap. He wrote to Mr. James Baden, If you can afford your soap at three pound per hundred weight, you may adventure to send me five tons, but you must give me your resolution immediately. Mr. Baden agreed to lower the price of the soap and a deal was struck. Valentine put Baden's soap to the test. I have made trial of your soap, which is not so good by much as Mr. Denews. I left one and t'other on the table till next morning, and I find that in time of twenty-four hours, yours continues moist and slabby, and t'other remains dry. Baden, however, refused to accept his soap back, meaning Valentine was forced to try and find ways of selling it. But no matter what he tried, no buyers could be found. In desperation, Valentine tried enlisting the help of street traders known as trotchers. Trotchers were notorious dodgy dealers who often dealt in stolen goods and were not normally entrusted to deal with reputable traders. But even they did not want the soap. <laughs> Luckily, Francis Jones agreed to take the soap to Holland. However, when he changed his plans at the last minute and decided to travel not to Holland, but to Belgium, Valentine hit upon an ingenious idea. He convinced Jones that the soap would have received an excellent price in Holland, and for it to be financially worthwhile, Jones would have to match that price for his Belgian trip. Jones agreed, and the deal was struck. After eight months, Valentine was financially no better off than when he started soap trading. He resolved to stick with goods he understood, relieved to have finally washed his hands of James Baden's useless soap. <laughs>